hi guys welcome back to my channel where fun fair and lovely but survival is paramount now for those of you who have been here from the initial thank you and i really appreciate you for those of you who are coming for the first time thanks for stopping by please subscribe like share leave a comment and hit that notification bell so you'll get all the upcoming videos now all of us at some point have certain ambition to be in certain position or do a certain kind of work for a certain amount of time no we have long since people who we work with being pushed aside and some being placed in a position where they really can't function so this one as someone asked me to speak about is qualification versus competence no for, for some of us we can attest to the fact that we have seen people being placed in some position and they are clueless as to what they are supposed to do and what is required of them now this individual in particular asked me to speak about her experience where she was working at an institution uh, a, a vacancy became temporarily available or vacant and she was asked to act in that position for four months which she did at the end of it she got glorious commendation when the assessment was done she got check marked for all the boxes she even got a plaque for a job well done fast forward they the position was not filled at the time when they say that they would do so so she was asked to act for another six months which she did so and she did so effectively efficiently and she did so successfully to the point where she had even implemented things that she came up with that the others did not think about and everybody was happy with that and others benefited from from that so that was something good for that department however the position became fully vacant where they want to want to fill the position with somebody she of course threw her hat in the ring along with some some other people but the person who was in charge of this this department took it on herself to come to her and let her know as soon as she received all the application she went to her and let her know say i don't think that you you are going to get you are going to get that position because there's somebody else there that is more qualified than you are you have a degree and this person has a master's so i'm just giving you the heads up from now that i don't think you'll get the position however she did not um withdrew her application the other documents and so that was required of her she went ahead and she got those and she submitted those as well <laughs> she asked though 
Why is it that you think I am not suitable for in this position? The person replied and said, well, as I said before, this person has a master's. You have a degree. So I think it is fitting to give it to, to that person. Um, the interview, the interviews were done. Um, she was commended for a good interview. Also, she did a marvelous presentation. Who all the the interview panel, all of those people who were on the interview panel, they were pleased and they were very impressed and they expressed that. So she felt good. However. The position was given to the other individual that um, the person in charge of the department referred to because she had a master's. That wasn't the only slap in the face because she went back and she asked, um, how is it that um, I'm qualified and it's okay for me to, to act in this position? Not once, but twice. And at the end of it, and the assessment I got a glorious assessment a wonderful assessment and I was commended by those who were in charge and I also got an award so what was that about how is it that I'm qualified and I'm competent to act not once but twice but I am not I'm not fit to fill the, the position because there's somebody else here that you say has a master's. The lady said, okay, I understand what you're saying, but the person with the highest or the higher qualification will get the position. Lo and behold, that person got it. But that wasn't the slap in the face. This person got the position and this person was clueless as to what she should do. And the same individual was brave enough to go back to the person who acted and ask her if she can show this person that is now the appointed person for the position what to do if she can school her show her the work the, the, the work and tell her what to do groom her and, and 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 fix all the stuff that she needs to do and she said no i am not going to do that why is it that i am not qualified for the position after i acted for an entire year and you guys did not have any complaint. I was commended by several people who matters. And as soon as the, the, the position became fully vacant, I am no longer qualified because this person has a master's and I have a degree. And that wasn't the insulting part. The fact that you guys passed me and gave that position to somebody else and you're going to turn back here who has the lesser qualification or the least qualification out of all that you you spoke about and you are going to ask me to show the person that you have given the position to or to teach the person that you're given the position um two so i must do all this work and the person is going to call it the pay for the work that i am going to do for her she said i'm not doing it and they thought that she was rude and defiant of course uh they had a meeting or what they call a dis disciplinary meeting which she was called and people who matters are those who were at the helm thought that she was defiant and she's not being a team player and she argued and said how is it that i am not a team player you guys asked me to act in this position not once but twice 
First, I acted for the four months that your people asked. And at the end of it, you were all pleased. The assessment, the papers are there, the documents are there to prove it. And because of that, you were confident enough for me to act another six months. Almost for a year. And then you are going to turn around and tell me that I am not qualified for the position because it is now clearly vacant. And then you are going to do further because I think this is a clear insult. You are going to go further and ask me to teach the person that you guys have appointed to that position. And I am not going to get any compensation for that work. The person, person's name is already um, slated in that position. That person is going to call it all the money that comes with that position and you're going to ask me who is less qualified than the person that you appointed to teach this person what to do to show this person what to do and to show her where she should get all the resources you said that she's 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 more qualified she should know i am not going to do it she was suspended for two weeks because they said that um, she's not cooperating with the policies. Another meeting was kept and she still held on firm to her point and said that I am not going to teach this person. I am, my job description does not entail that and I'm not going to do that. However, they found a way around it and they said, okay, you're not going to do it. We're not going to force you. So they tried to, to give her the resources that she want, the person that was in the position. And fast forward, the person <laughs> stayed in that position for two months. Two months and then they quit because the person could not manage. So the person ended up quitting. And now they came back to the person who acted before and asked her to now step into the position, which she willingly did. Needless to say, she has been in that position for eight years now. And for those eight years, she has eight plaques that she's she has been awarded for excellent work excellent service so the question is when do you draw a line where qualification does not beat out competence because we know and if we are honest there are some people who has the degree who finished the degree and most of it they, they they did not do when I used to go to college there was a vice principal who would say when you go to certain places degrees are a dime a dozen it can be bought so some of us do know people who finish that degree and most of the work that is required they did not do it some of us know people who finish the masters and all of that and they'll boast about oh my thesis and we know that they didn't even write the first sentence they asked somebody to do it sometimes they even pay somebody to do it somebody wrote something before and they copied so we know all of that we know that people acquire things that they really and truly did not work for so qualification versus competence where do we draw the line are you going to shove somebody with the qualification in a position but the person is not competent are uh, or are you going to take the person that is competent qualified enough and allow that person to do what they do best
where do we draw the line with qualification and competence? We can all fly the white paper or whatever color it is and say, oh, I've completed this, I've completed that. But can you do the work when you are placed in that position? Where do we draw the line with qualification versus competence? How many times have we seen people being shafted, shoved aside because it is said that this person has a degree from so-and-so and this person has a degree from such a place? And when you place these people in the position, they can't function. Where do we draw the line with qualification as opposed to com competence? Do you know of a story? Sound off in the comment section below. Let me hear you. See you next time.